Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And I have finally reached our final destination. I have uh, taken care of the titanium and the gold. Uh, unfortunately, those miners uh, bugged out on me. I think next time I go there, I've got to rebuild them, because even though it was saying only gold and uranium and titanium and uranium, I was getting silicone and iron and cobalt and uh, iron and everything else, and... So, yeah, I might have to rebuild that, but we might actually need resources for this final build that we're going to do. Um, as you can see, I'm down here, out here at the Xanite mine, and I want to build a station for this one as well. But this is sort of the main build that I've been thinking about the whole time, is trying to get, get a Sphinx built out here, just because. Uh, it is a bit of a detailed build. It is going to be a challenging build because I'm dealing with the elements out here. So uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I do have a stasis chamber here. and I'm probably going to go name that while I can. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the chance and leave this flying. I've got about eight and a half hours of fuel. I actually camped out there for a day and a bit, which took off about an hour of fuel just to get that container filled up a little bit. Oh, holding shift, not space. Let's go take a quick look here. I gotta expand the platform too. Uh, and go from there. Uh, I think I have about four, maybe 5,000 frames and plates, which I know is a lot, but knowing me, it doesn't really mean much, especially when the station pl platform as you can see, it's getting all this stuff here, even though the miner itself only says it's xanite. So I can't figure that one out. Uh, what I was going to do, for safety's sake, I'm going to rename this. Uh, we'll call this the final destination. And just in case I die, at least I have a place to, so I know where I'm supposed to be spawning. And that's why. So I don't know what's going to happen. I am Mark Four. I have plenty of water on me. And that's actually what I was going to do, is I was going to put this put water on all my hot bars just in case because you never know right uh, I do have a little plenty of nutritional capsules on me so hopefully I can survive uh, anyway uh, I'm probably gonna sort of have it hanging off the cliff here it does need to be a little bit bigger uh, because I'm doing base foundations it says ceiling tiles it's gonna be it's gonna be four wide and probably 26 and then I'm going to put the Sphinx at the end. I'm going to try to get as much detail as I can into it. It's not going to be 100% perfect. I'll probably be using a lot of the angle blocks. So it's not going to have the curvatures that it should. But, you know, I'm not building on a massive scale here. I don't know if I'm going to survive the build. But let's find out.
Okay, I think I've done about as much damage as I can do, and exactly what I mean by damage, as you'll see in a moment. Uh, I'm sure you've already figured it out from the picture, from the thumbnail, but yeah, it, I knew it wasn't going to turn out too well. I knew it was going to be difficult to do with the blocks that we had, but there's it. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, to be honest. But, you know, it's the scale I was working on, too. I was basically basing it off to the size of the toes there, but uh, needless to say, this is about all I can really do. I'm down to about four stacks of frames and plates, so not going to be getting too much more in. I could have gotten it looking a little bit better if I had doubled or if not tripled the size of it, but it's a good thing we're not going to be coming around here too often. But there we have it. That is our final destination. I tell you, it was an absolute nightmare trying to build out here. Uh, this jetpack efficiency is terrible. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, being in the, not quite the desert here. Uh, last time I was actually in the desert, I was having so much trouble, I was actually in the lava fields, that's why it was an issue. But as you can see, we have done a lot of scanning. I haven't actually scanned this one spot. Interesting. But definitely have to do a scan there, and uh, probably going to... I'm probably going to call a build here. I was going to get this going, and then if I had enough, I was going to do a bit of a small pyramid too, but that didn't work out too well, but hey, that's a, it's a face in a 10 by 10 and yeah, it could have been better. But anyways, I'm going to call this episode here. I've been working on this for a few hours, and it's been kind of crazy, but as you can see, I tried using some posts every other couple of layers to sort of get the the sandstone layering because if you don't know the sphinx the main body of the sphinx was actually dug out of a quarry so the the main body is actually just sandstone they just dug around it to get the body and then i don't know if the bricks were ma made before or after to do the head and the, the legs but that's how it is so i just did that for texturing and that part looks okay the rest of it kind of doesn't look like he's trying to blow a bubble I don't want to know where that bubble is, but I'm sure we'll find out one day. Anyways, I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Later.